Hello and welcome to Holiday Crafts and Ornaments with Sarah Ayler. I'm going to be premiering this video today. Normally I'm live on Friday mornings at 10 a.m. on our Softlux Company YouTube channel. Uh, but today on this Friday, I'm going to be heading to Oakland for a beach show and uh, be demonstrating there live. So I am pre-recording this video and it'll be a little different than the others, but I didn't want to miss out on making this super cute snowman ornament this week using our Softlex craft wire. So I worked out a really cool little pattern uh, here on our wig jig. This wig jig is a, an acrylic jig that has holes uh, pressed into it. And then it comes with 10 little metal pegs uh, that you can put into all sorts of different patterns to make all sorts of different shapes, even little snowmen hat <laughs> hats if you want to. Um, and then I also used some super pegs there those come in a package of three and I am using the smallest two. You can find all of these things on our website, which is listed up here. So there's still one bigger and I would have actually probably preferred to use the bigger, but when I placed it, it was too close to the top peg for the wire to fit in between to make a really smooth connection uh, for the mid section of my snowman. So I opted for the small and the medium. These are the large super pegs, not to be confused with the other option on the website, which is the small super pegs. Um, so there is that option too, and you could probably make these even smaller if you wanted to uh, using the Delphi, which is a smaller jig uh, with the peg holes closer together, but you could use the same pattern basically. So here I go. I um, had to work on this. I made about four of these before I got the pattern, just how I liked it. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm using an 18 gauge Softlex craft wire for the base of the snowman. And this is a copper wire. It has a silver plating, and then it has a coating over the top of it that makes it hypoallergenic and non-tarnishing. So it always stays this really beautiful, bright silver color. And it's perfect for making things like Christmas ornaments. Um, and I'm using silver because over the years as I've made these ornaments, I've realized silver is a really great color on the Christmas tree. Uh, you can also make it in a bunch of different colors uh, using Softlux Craft Wire Red or Green. Um, you could use um, a non-traditional color like a brass or a copper um, for sure. Uh, but silver always really stands out on the Christmas tree. So that's what I decided to use for the snowman. And also it's kind of the closest to white as you can get in the craft wire. So I'm gonna use this for the main base and then I'm gonna use our 26 gauge in the same color to wrap the pieces together. So let me just slide these out of the way here bring this to the center. We're going to open up the 18 gauge. You always kind of want to hold on to your wire as you're opening it, especially the thicker gauges. They kind of want to just unravel on the spool if you're not too uh, careful. I'm going to take a decent sized piece of wire out and I usually just work right off of the spool so I don't waste any wire. And then I'll go ahead and slide this clip back into place. The first step always is nylon jaw pliers, which have these beautiful nylon tips that take the wire and they just take all those like bumps and kinks out of the wire. So you get a nice smooth wire to work with. They also start the work hardening process, which is important too. And then I like to take my cutters and make sure I've got a really flat flesh cut before I start on the tip of my wire. And I'm gonna grab some round nose pliers and make my very first loop for the top of my snowman. And I wanna bring it all the way around so that the loop hits the wire on the other side. Makes a complete loop. 
All right, and here goes the magic of making a snowman. Wanna build a snowman? <laughs> I've been hearing that song in my head all day long. Speaking of um, new movies coming out, my little girls are very excited about Frozen 2. Okay, so I'm gonna try to flatten this out. 18 gauge wire is rather thick, so it doesn't always want to work well. <laughs> Get it onto the very top of the, the design here. So you can see I made almost like a triangle shape at the top of the two big uh, super pegs. And this is a very tight wrap. So I'm gonna go slow and I'm gonna wrap just slowly around each peg. I'm doing more um, spinning of the jig than I am pulling. I want the jig to make the shape for me. So you can see I have half of the hat and now I'm going to just wrap, spinning the jig and holding the wire, wrap around, oh, I missed a side, oops, let's go back wrap around half of this super peg, and then you wanna go the opposite direction. There we go. And it'll come back and wrap up to make the top. Perfect. And then we're gonna go around on the other side to finish our hat. So I'm using all of the metal pegs today to make not only the snowman, but the hook is already set up too. I have one little peg left, uh, which I just set to the side so I didn't lose it. So you can always do that when you're making uh, projects on the jig. Just leave your pegs right in the board. Okay, so I'm gonna follow the same kind of guidelines as I did on the first side, on the second. And you do wanna get your wire down and around those pegs so that you're making that complete shape and so that it doesn't wanna pull up and off while you're working. And then I'm gonna make my last loop here. You could go out straight and probably wire up the top. I decided to double loop the top. That seemed a little easier to me. Um, but I'm sure there are other finishing techniques. I'm going to come in here to where I'm trimming off with the flat side of my cutter and trim that wire. You don't have to work on the spool. It is a little more challenging when you have the spool kind of running around uh, the table, but it does help you from um, cutting too much wire and then having a piece of wire that you can't use. So I'll leave that up to you. Before I take this off of here, and I'm spooling my 18 gauge wire back up so that it's taken care of. Um, before I take this off of here, I'm just gonna make sure I push everything down. I've got a really good firm shape because when I take it off, it is gonna wanna spring out and I'm gonna wrap it together with a thinner gauge of wire, but it does kinda help if you've already got your shape kind of really established. So get your shape really good. Look at that little snowman, he's so cute. I'm gonna pop, pop this off of here. And you can see this is what I end up with. And I'm gonna wire wrap now the pieces together so that I can make that really cute little snowman shape. So let me move this over to the side and we're gonna grab some of this 26 gauge craft wire, which is quite thin. 18 is the first one we use, so it's a bit a lower number, but it's a thicker wire. And this is 26 gauge, which is pretty, pretty thin, um, but it's a higher number. I don't need a ton of wire, just like a usable piece, uh, maybe six inches or so. If you get too long, then it will get quite annoying when you're working with it. So um, just like a decent sized piece here. And I am going to make my first bend with my fingers like this. And I'm gonna wrap it around the outside of one of these loops to start. 
And I'm just gonna do like two or three kind of tight, tight wraps on there. Don't worry too much about this little extra wire because you're cutting it off. But two or three little kind of tight wraps. And then I'm gonna pull these two together and I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna go through the center of those two. So this is kind of establishing the top of my snowman and I want to um, wrap it really nicely so that those two loops kind of overlap really well. And I'm gonna go through two or three times here too maybe even four or five, depending on how it's coming together. And the more you can get those two loops together, the nicer it'll look. So do your best to hold them in place, get them looking really nice. And then you can come around this other side just to kind of even things out and wrap two or three times around the second side of the top of the hat. This wire is very malleable, um, the 26 gauge especially because it's so thin, but if you're not careful, you work it too hard, it will snap and break. So you do want to be kind of careful. So there I have put my little hat together and I'm just going to come in with my cutters and I'm gonna trim right up against that on both sides. And then I always like to be extra careful. So I will take my chain nose and just tuck, tuck those little wires down so that they're not gonna catch on anything. And then I've got the initial start of my uh, my guy. I'm going to go ahead just to add a little bit more strength to it. I'm going to wrap here and I'm going to wrap here in the center as well. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take a little piece of wire, 26 gauge wire, bend a little kind of a little crook in it, pull it around this next section that I am connecting and then I'm going to start doing some wrapping and this will just ensure that he all stays together really nicely yeah so there's tons of different colors of wire you could use for this I'm using a really cute little ribbon for the scarf but there's you know tons of thin ribbon out there that you could wrap around his neck you could even use this thin wire and pass uh, back and forth to create a black hat and a white snowman if you wanted to really uh, get into it and decorate him. So lots of options, as always, for making it your own. And this doesn't have to just be an ornament that hangs on the tree. Uh, this can be a gift topper. I love to... Uh, add a little bit of whimsy to the top of a package by attaching a little charm like this underneath the bow. It can be super duper cute. So I'm gonna tighten this up on both sides and then I'm gonna cut it again. Both sides and bring in my chain nose pliers to tuck those ends in. And then I've got one more and then we will do some work hardening and add our scarf. Always good to use your nylon jaw pliers even on this thin gauge of wire to get it nice and straight as it comes off the spool. Way. And here we go. One last time. And this guy is going to be so nice and strong, he won't be able to be pulled apart because of this extra reinforcement uh, from the thinner wire. 
You could also wrap this thin wire around the outside of the snowman with some white crystals. Last week I did a really pretty uh, leaf and I wrapped some uh, yellow beads around the inside of the leaf and I could see you doing that with like a really pretty clear crystal so it looks very snow-like on this guy. Maybe I will even try that and take a picture after I'm done with this video so you can see the alternative. It's always fun to see what happens when you try to take the project just a little bit further and personalize it just a little bit more. So I'm gonna wrap the bottom about as many wraps as I did on the top, just so that it looks sort of even. Although this part does get just hidden by the scarf. Here we go. And so again, I'm gonna go through and trim the excess wire. So this is, I think the fourth video in my eight part series this year on holiday crafts and Christmas ornaments. And I even had a Halloween ornament, um, fall and winter ornaments, I guess I should call it. Um, so I hope you've been enjoying it. I have about four more. I may continue doing it into the next year because I've been enjoying it so much. I make so much jewelry, it's nice to get out of that zone and just do a little bit of something different. So I have some just really pretty ribbon here that I grabbed out of my ribbon box. I'm just gonna cut a decent size again because I'll trim it down to the exact size I want after I've got it tied up onto my snowman. So I'm just gonna take it around his neck, kind of doubling it over. And then the trick here, you want the you want the two to come out together. So instead of just going around and up and in, you're gonna actually go around one more time. Let me see if I can get that. And then through the center so that you get a nice straight knot. And you just wanna kind of cinch that knot down to his neck. And then we can come in. Oh, you want to use a really good part of your scissor to cut a nice straight cut for his scarf. You could do a red scarf, a green scarf. I mean, you really, the sky is the limit on this. And then last but not least, we're going to make a quick little hanger for it using the same wig jig and the 18 gauge craft wire. So I'm gonna pull this out and my nylon jaw pliers over it again. So get a nice smooth wire. Trim my end so I've got a nice flat flush cut to start with. And I'm gonna be using this pattern down here. So I'm gonna make my first loop And I am going to slip it onto my peg and I'm gonna wind it around my pegs to make my hook. And I'm gonna go ahead and complete my design and uh, I will cut off my wire right at my hook here and slide it up and then I can work harden both. Oh, I forgot to work harden this guy. We'll do them at the same time because I can even do it with the uh, scarf there. So I'm gonna flatten it out and I'm going to use my wire whacker, which is really handy. It's two nylon slabs. I'm gonna put the two pieces on the nylon, whack it several times turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. And what that does is it just uh, really hardens the wire and flattens it out also. So it's a nice flat, but it'll make it so that it's gonna stay in that nice, uh, beautiful shape. And I'm going to open this up and slip my snowman 
onto my hook and then we are done. Oh, and I've got them going the opposite way. Maybe we'll turn them around so they're going the same direction. They can be snowman friends. So it's as easy as that. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click to subscribe to the Softflex channel. We have tons of things like this, ornaments and holiday crafts, but we also have fantastic jewelry designs that you can learn from us. And you can find out more about our company by visiting our website, which is www.softflexcompany.com.